Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here today, welcome. And if you are back, thank you for coming back. So today I wanted to talk about a topic that is very sensitive in the nursing world and that is the role of LPNs. And the reason that I wanted to talk about this is because there's a lot of myths and misconceptions associated with being an LPN. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's debunk these myths and put them to rest once and for all. So one of the main reasons that I wanted to make this video is because some people want to go into a licensed practical nurse program and they hear from people telling them that it's pointless, that there's no job security in it and that they're wasting their time. And the most offensive myth of them all is that LPNs are not real nurses. And I'm here to tell you that this is simply not true. An LPN is a nurse. They are required to go through a nursing program. They are required to take the NCLEX, just like an RN. Believe it or not, some people did not know that they have to take the NCLEX to become an LPN. And yes, you do. Um, the program still has the same core fundamentals, med search, um, anatomy and physiology, unofficially in some places, um, your mental health, pediatric, maternity, all that is enclosed in a licensed practical nurse program. When you go out into the workplace, you are still responsible to care for sick residents or patients. You are still required to assess unofficially. You are still required to use your brain and what you've learned in nursing to report to a doctor, um, to a physician, to a nurse practitioner. So at the end of the day, you are still a nurse. So that is the first myth that I want to debunk. LPNs are in fact real nurses. Um, the only difference is that they are not officially able to assist. And for the most part, an LPN has to work under the direction of a registered nurse. But they can basically do everything that an RN can. Now, another myth that I hear oftentimes that discourage people from going into an LPN program is that they are not going to be able to work in a hospital. And I think that that misconception sometimes stems from the fact that people, when they think of nurses, they automatically think hospital. That is not the only place in the world, in the healthcare field, that you can work as a nurse. There's home health, there's geriatrics, you can work in a nursing home, you can work in a subacute unit, you can work in mental health, you can work in doctor's offices, clinics. There are so many other places that you can work besides the hospital. And believe it or not, depending on the state that you obtain your licensure and what they allow LPNs to do, you can actually work in a hospital. I live in the state of Florida and recently our hospital has started hiring LPNs. Um, their job description obviously is gonna be different than a registered nurse and what they're able to do may not be in the capacity of what a registered nurse can do, but yes, in some places, an LPN can work in the hospital setting. And also for people who worked in the hospital setting as an LPN, some facilities actually have allowed them after I guess they started phasing out the LPNs in the hospital to stay and keep their job. So when you go to the hospital, sometimes you may find an LPN being your nurse. So just kind of keep that in mind. The other myth and misconception that I hear is that people think that they're phasing them out as in they're going to get rid of LPNs completely. So it's just going to be CNAs and registered nurses. That is so not true. I have not heard this. I have not seen anything from the Board of Nursing about it. LPNs have a dynamic role in the healthcare field and they are here to stay. So if you are contemplating entering an LPN program out of the fear that eventually that licensure is going to be non-existent, that is not going to be the case. LPNs are valuable and their jobs and their titles will be existent. So another myth or misconception that I oftentimes will hear when it comes to LPNs or people who fear going into an LPN program is that they're not going to be able to move up in management, that they're going to be stuck in the same position. And that is simply not the case. Um, recently, I worked in a long-term care subacute facility and our equivalent to a charge nurse, you can say, were all LPNs. And our management was made up of mostly LPNs. We had an LPN doing MDS. We had an LPN who was our unit manager. So LPNs can hold management positions. They do not always have to work as a floor nurse. So do not let that be 
a reason to keep you from going into an LPN because you feel like you're going to be stuck in the same position in the same job forever because yes, you in fact can move up the ladder with an LPN license. Another misconception that I hear from people who are contemplating whether or not they want to go into an LPN versus an RN program is that they feel like the LPN program is going to be a lot easier. Okay, so easier I feel like depends on what your version of easier is. So with an RM program, it can sometimes be a little bit more in depth and a little bit more demanding and you are required to absorb a lot more information um, because there's an assessment aspect to it. So it kind of just goes just a one step forward in your thinking and in the rationale and because you are responsible for assessing, there's like an extra step to the nursing process. But does that mean that your program is gonna be easier? Not at all. Believe it or not, I actually did one semester in the LPN program. The program that I ultimately ended up getting my registered nursing license from had the option of taking an LPN program and an RN program. And I opted for the LPN program initially because one, it was shorter, and two, because I wasn't really sure if I even wanted to be a nurse at the time. And this was kind of like my way of kind of putting my foot in it just a little bit instead of just fully committing into a registered nurse, nurse program. I know, just weird thinking. I was 21 and not really thinking. So, but let me tell you, that one semester that I did, in a licensed practical nurse program was not easier than my RN program. The expectations were the same. The information were the same. The testing schedule was the same. Everything was pretty much the same. And I've talked to people who have gone through an RN and an LPN program and they basically say the same. The, cur the curriculum is basically the same exact information. You're going to have to learn med surgery. You're going to have to do pediatrics, you're going to have to do maternity, mental health, fundamentals, all that you're going to have to do. The only difference is sometimes the pace is a little bit different. And also, like I said, there's an extra step to the nursing process when you take your program. So is the LPN program really that much easier? No, it really isn't. The amount of time, dedication and focus that you're going to have to put into an LPN program is probably equivalent to the time, dedication and effort you're going to have to put in an RM program, simple as that. The other misconception that I hear that keep people from entering an LPN program is that they feel like the pay is gonna be awful or that people tell them that they're not gonna get paid as an LPN. So I did my research. So according to the labor people, <laughs> an LPN earns an average in America $42,500 a year and an LPN makes about $66,000 a year. Now, that's about a $20,000 difference, I think, I'm not that great at math. But to me, $42,000 a year is not awful. Uh, it's not $20,000 a year. So to think that if you're going to be an LPN, you're not gonna get paid any money or not be compensated is not a reason to keep you from going into that program or completing your LPN. And like I said earlier, as an LPN, you have the ability to move up in management or assume other positions within your facility, within your wherever you work, that will make you more money than the average $42,500 that is quoted. So don't think that you're gonna become an LPN and not make any money at all. And just throwing out there to give you literal numbers, when the last facility that I worked for, the RNs made about $10 more an hour than our LPNs. So, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure it varies between state, facility, whatever, but it's not like $50 difference an hour that you're gonna be making working as an LPN versus an RN. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really do hope that you appreciate it, and I hope that I was able to debunk some myths and misconceptions that come with LPNs. Um, at the end of the day, education is power. If you don't know, then you just don't know. So I really just hope that by putting this video out there, everyone kind of has a more well-rounded perspective and respect for what LPNs do and the contribution that they make to our healthcare. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Um, if you liked it, please thumbs up. 
and also click the little bell that's on the bottom of this video for notifications whenever I post up new videos. And if you have any comments, questions, or anything that you'd like to contribute, just leave a little comment below at the end of the video. I would really, really appreciate it. 